Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. And we are here at Mosquito Lake. I thought I would come back here and do some ultralight fishing in this lake. It's the first one I can really do it at. I did actually go to the starter lake just to see, or pond or whatever, and see if I could have any luck, but didn't really catch anything. There really isn't a whole lot of fish there, species-wise, and not many that go after spinners. But I did find out in this location that there's a few pretty good places to do some spin casting, light-wise. And you got to be careful, though, because there are some pretty decent-sized pike here, and they will mess up your... It will mess up your, your gear. I mean, they, well, not my gear gear. I had one take my lure the last time I was here, which kind of disappointed me because it was a really, really good lure. And I'm upset over it. But he broke it off. But let's see what I've got set up on this one right now. Yeah, I've... I've only got five pound test line. I wish I could get something smaller than a six kilogram liter, but they don't have anything smaller than that. So I'll end up losing the whole thing. Now this Pullmore spinner, that's not what I lost. I lost the other one, the one that was really good. But right now is a good time to try to start this, so I need to really kind of get started. But if you Try this right over here by this log. There are a lot of perch over here, guys. And they are <laughs> ready, as you can see. I didn't even reel it in, for God's sake. They are ready to rock and roll here. Ready to rock and roll. Yeah, they don't give me a lot of points, but they will definitely be a lot of fun. That one's not bad, though. He wasn't bad at all. I'm getting some lag for some reason. I don't know what the deal is. It's like all of a sudden. Yeah, they were updating the server, so maybe there's some issues going on. Because I am usually don't have that much problem with my... Whoop. Yeah, it keeps coming and going, which is kind of weird. try that again yeah I might have to take do some adjustments with the settings if it keeps doing this but it's about to be night here so we're our time is limited to try this right at the moment You'll still catch them, just not as much. Yep, it's already night. Damn. There we go. Yeah, this is a lot of fun, guys. I really like the ultralight fishing. Ooh, this guy is a little bit bigger than the last one. You that are just a better fighter. Damn. No, I don't think it's a perch. Is it, is it a perch? No, it's a chub. No wonder it was a better fighter. Hey, little chub. Yeah, guys, I'm going to check my settings here because something is going on here. Really getting a lot of lag. Well, guys, the lag is a little less. I basically took it down from superior settings to too beautiful. 
if it keeps doing it, I might take it down some more, but usually I don't get this. I usually can have everything at the highest settings, so I'm not sure what the deal is. But anyway, we are going to keep fishing here, and I'll tell you, there's some seriously nice people out there. I just had a gentleman just provided me with some gear, all kinds of it, and... He really didn't have to do that, but one of the things he just gave me was... Here, hold on, let me show you here. He just gave me one of these, a blinker. And I'm going to try it out, because that's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see what we can do with this. I have yet to buy one of the electronic ones. We're just going to toss this out a little ways, see if we can get any carp. Let me check. Yeah, Lori F33. I want to seriously thank you for those gifts. That was way, way overboard. You didn't have to do that. But I do appreciate it, and I'm so glad you are supporting me so well. But anyway, guys, yeah, I one of the things I was kind of talking about, too, I don't know if you had a chance, but today, my friend Dulakaba, had put out a video about Russian fishing, and it was quite poignant. And I must say, I am wholeheartedly support him. I wholeheartedly agree with him. If I had, you know a problem with anybody tough it <laughs> I'm sorry but guys I don't pick favorites with this I don't know what the deal is it's like people have to complain and it's a game for God's sakes it's like I get all kinds of stuff from people who like just fishing planet or people who like other games and it's like this isn't a competition guys it's not like we're you know opposing football teams or something like that each one of these games have their own benefits. I mean, you know, I like them all, honestly. I mean, my biggest question I get from people is, which do you like better, Russian fishing or uh, Fishing Planet or Professional Fishing or Ultimate Fishing Simulator? Who cares? I like them all, honest to God. They all have good points. They all have bad points. But they're all fun. And that's what's important. And, you know, it's my right to be able to play whatever I want to play at the, any given time. I don't have to pick a favorite and then just... It's not like I'm telling all the first-person shooters that the only thing you can possibly play is Call of Duty and you can't play any other first-person shooters. I mean, which do I like better? I don't really like any of them better. It depends on the situation. Now, if you were going to ask me which one's more realistic, this is the game that's most realistic. I mean, if you want to be as close to actually fishing as possible, it would be Russian Fishing 4. But if you're in a situation where you can only play 20 minutes and you want to be able to catch some fish, and a lot of them, you're going to need to play Fishing Planet or professional fishing or something like that and on those you can do that and sometimes I don't have enough time to spend an hour or two which is what you really have to do with this game but that's true with real fishing I mean if you're really fishing you're not going to be able to pull your car over run out fish for 15 or 20 minutes and catch a bunch of fish it just can't happen so I don't get it. I guess I just don't get it. But no, just because I went back to Fishing Planet does not mean I have dissed Russian Fishing 4. I plan on playing this until either it disappears or I do. One or the other. <laughs> I like all of the games. And I will keep playing them. Well, as long as they last. Anyway, I need to get off my soapbox here. I'm not so sure that I'm going to be able to catch anything here using the spin caster at this time of night, but 
I figured I'd at least give it a shot. Shouldn't be dark too much longer. Actually, I might even bring out my float rod here. But yeah, ch check it out. I even got some new gear from the from the gentleman. Let's see. I got one of these Volkov lures. I really want to try that with this rod once it gets a little brighter out. And there was another one, something that was four perch that he had on here. It was a homemade lure. Uh, well, I don't see it now, but... Well, he got me this, this roundish C5. I haven't used one of those before. But, yeah, I, he... Yeah, I think this is it right here, this lower Volga for perch. So I'm going to have to test that one out too, but that's going to have to be put on a bigger rod. But anyway, yeah, let me go ahead and bring out my float rod here. I've got some, uh, I don't know, what do I have on here? Oh, he also gave me some dung beetles. I don't know what in the world you use dung beetles for. There's flies. Let's see. I'm going to put some maggots on here. And we're going to put that right out there by the log. And we'll just put that down too. We'll see if anything, anything comes of it. I don't know. I have a feeling I'm just going to have to wait until morning to really get any serious action. Yeah, see that blinks. That doesn't look ding a -ling or what all. So you have a different method of being notified. I was lucky I didn't get a snag. Oh, there we go. Ooh. I think it's a roach. No, it's another chub. I'm getting some chubs tonight. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Not my best cast, that's for sure, but... We'll keep doing this until morning and then, aha, there we go. Got something on this cheese. Is this cheese or potatoes? I don't remember, honestly. There you go. Must be cheese. It's a little tinch. Any cute. Feels like the wind's picking up quite a bit. Just don't like that where it's at. Let's see if we can't toss that out a little bit more. There we go. That's perfect. I like it to be right next to the log. Well, geez. Come here, little guy. There you go. Now the chubs are definitely biting here. But yeah, there's two really good spots to do the ultralight fishing over here. Right here is really good for the perch. And I'll show you the other one that I really like. It's over there on the other side of the lake. But most of what I get there have been pike. Damn, this thing is really 
doing well. You got us another tinch, I think. Yeah, and that's a decent one. They are such an odd looking fish. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think I've got a little bit of an interest here. Well, you little son of a gun. Oh, sun's back out. Okay, time to switch. Is there something on that? Hold on. Nah, I think it's just the wind. Yeah, it's just the wind. Anyway, I am going to put that new lure on there that young man gave me. As soon as I find it. <laughs> Here it is. We're going to give this a little bit of a try here. I haven't heard just how well these Volkov lures work, but give this a little bit of Whoa! I guess fairly well. Holy crap. Okay. Well, I think we have found out how well these things do. What have we got here? Nice. Very, very nice, guys. If it keeps doing that, I am sold. Getting a nice jig step. go again yeah when you catch them like that it really makes it a lot of fun I did not do that that was not a bad that was a, that was an intentional thing I just did <laughs> that sucked <laughs> terrible cast Hmm. Sounds like I've got somebody trying to contact me. Hold on just a minute, guys. Yeah, it wasn't anybody. I think somebody's talking on one of the Discord channels, and I'm just picking it up. That happens sometimes. I try to mute them when I'm recording, but sometimes it just doesn't seem to work. Now we're finally getting the frames per second. I don't know what was going on there. It may just be a lot of people on right at the moment. Alright, 
let me try switching to that perch lure that that gentleman gave me. Let's see, it was called, what was it called? Something for perch. That's for pike. Here it is. Ooh. Can't use it on this rod. Let's just put this one back on for now. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch my rod here because this one's just a little bit too heavy for this rod. Let me get my... Where's my... Get my Model 1 out here. And we'll put on that lure. And give it a try here. Now this has got a little bit heavier line, so... Yeah, my bottle one can handle some pretty big fish. This is supposed to be for perch, so we're just giving it a little test. Nothing that time. Let's see. Let's come over here a little bit. Throw it way out there. Oh wow. I think I threw it across there. <laughs> that was quite the cast. I did. There we go. Yeah, it's not big, but something did latch onto it. How that gone far did I throw that out there? Lord. Caught a frog! <laughs> ah, that's cool. There you go. Caught me a little frog. I thought he wasn't very big. As he's cute. That is funny. That is funny as I'll get out. Yeah, I thought you had to catch them with the flies. I've not actually caught a frog before. Not that I've really gone for them, but... There we go. Nice. Check that out, guys. Nice. I was not going for him at all. I mean, I was expecting a perch, not a pike. And a decent one at that. Oh, I need to eat something. Let's see. Get some pickles. I 
let's try it again guys that was pretty neat nifty nifty cool 